Good day, my name is Melody Bukovo, a student nurse from nearby CI University of Science and Technology. And for today's video, I'm going to perform the Foley catheter. A Foley catheter is a flexible tube that a clinician passes through the urethra and into the bladder to drain urine. It is the most common type of dual urinary catheter. To relieve discomfort due to the bladder distension or to provide gradual decompression of the distended bladder, to assess the amount of residual urine if the bladder empties incompletely, to obtain a stern urine specimen, to empty the bladder completely prior to surgery, and to facilitate accurate measurement of urinary output for critically ill clients whose output needs to be monitored early. For the assessment, determine the most appropriate method of catheterization based on the purpose and any criteria specified in the order such as the total amount of urine to be removed or size of catheter to be used. Use a straight catheter if only one time urine specimen is needed. If a motor residual urine is being measured or if temporary decompression, emptying of the bladder is required. Use an indwelling retention catheter if the bladder must remain empty. Intermittent catheterization is contraindicated or continuous urine measurement collection is needed. Assess the client overall condition. Determine if the client is able to participate and hold is still during the procedure. For female clients, determine if she can have a knee bent and hips externally rotated. Determine when the client last voided or was last catheterized. If catheterization is being performed because the client has been unable to void, when possible, complete a bladder scan to assess the amount of urine present in the bladder. For the planning, allow adequate time to perform the catheterization. Although the entire procedure can require as little as 15 minutes, several sources of difficulty could result in much longer period of time. If possible, it should not be performed just prior to or after a meal. Some clients may feel uncomfortable being catheterized by nurses of the opposite gender. If this is the case, obtain the client's permission. Also, consider whether agency policy requires or encourages having a person of the client's same gender present for the procedures. For the equipment, a sterile catheter appropriate size, an extra catheter should always be at hand. Catheterization kit or individual sterile items including sterile gloves, waterproof drapes, antiseptic solution, cleansing bowls, forceps, water soluble rubricants, urine receptacle, specimen container. For indwelling catheter, syringe preferred with sterile water in a mode specified by catheter manufacturer, collection bag and tubing, clean gloves, supplies for performing perennial cleansing, but blanket or sheet for taping the client, adequate lighting. Obtain a flashlight of life if necessary. For the implementation, prior to performing the procedures, introduce yourself and verify the client identity using the agency protocols and then explain to the client what they're going to do, what's necessary, and how he or she can participate. So, good day ma'am. My name is Madjuti Bukobo, a student nurse from nearby CI University of Science and Technology and I will be your student nurse for today. Is that okay with you ma'am? Yes. Before we go to start, uh, may I know your name ma'am? Your birthday, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Uh, today, I'm going to insert the Foley catheter to you for the treatment of urinary detention and for your comfort. Is that okay with you, ma'am? Yes. And then next, perform hand hygiene and observe other appropriate infection control procedures. position and drape all areas except the premium. For a female client, supine with knees flexed, feet about 2 feet apart and hips slightly externally rotated if possible. Uh, next, establish 
adequate lighting. Uh, stand on the client's right if you are right-handed and the client's left if you are left-handed. So I'm going to stand in the client's right because I'm right-handed. If using a collecting bag and it is not contained with the catheterization kit, open the drainage package and place in the end of tubing within the reach. Then open the catheterization kit, place a waterproof drape under the buttocks without contaminating the center of the drape with your hands. spread the labia so that the mi miatus is visible. And then, establish firm but gentle pressure on the labia. The antiseptic make the tissue slippery but the labia must not allow to return over the cleansed miatus. And note, the location of the ureta miatus is best identified during the cleansing process. And then, pick up a uh, cleansing bowl with a forceps in dominant hand and wipe one side to the labia majora to an anteroposterior direction. And use a new bowl for the opposite side. Use great care that wiping the client does not contaminate the sterile hand. And then, repeat for the labia minora. as the clients exhale. A slight resistance is expected as the catheter passes through the speech tract. If necessary, twist the catheter or hold pressure on the catheter until the speech nerve relaxes. the cat 
catheter by centimeter farther after the reading begins to flow through it. If the catheter accidentally contacts the labia or slips into the vagina, it considered contaminated and new sterile catheter must be used. The contaminated catheter may be left in the vagina until the new catheter is inserted to help avoid mistaking the vagina opening for the ureter meatus. Hold the catheter with your non-dominant hand and for an unwilling catheter, inflate the retention balloon with a designated ball. Without releasing the catheter, hold the inflation bulb between two fingers of your non-dominant hand while you attach the syringe and inflate with your dominant hand. until resistance is felt to ensure that the balloon has inflated and to place it to the trigon of the bladder. Collect the urine specimen if needed. For a straight catheter, allow 20 to 30 ml to flow into the bottle without touching the catheter to the bottle for indwelling catheter. Pre-attached to the drainage bag. The specimen may be taken from the bag to initial time only. Allow the straight catheter to continue draining into the urine receptacle. If necessary, attach the drainage and in a drilling catheter to the collecting tubing and bag. Examine and measure the urine. In some cases, only 750 to 1000 ml of urine are to be drained from the bladders at one time. Agency policy for further instruction if they should occur. Remove the straight catheter when urine flows stop. For individual catheter, secure the catheter tubing to the thigh of the female clients or the upper thigh. Wipe any remaining antiseptic or lubricant from the cranial area. Replace for first game if attracted earlier. Return the client to the comfortable position. Instruct the client on positioning and moving with the catheter in place. So now I'm going to go back to your comfortable position. Discard all used supplies in appropriate receptacles. Remove and discard gloves and then perform hand hygiene. Recommend the catheterization procedure including the catheterization size and result in the client's record using the form or checklist supplemented by narrative notes when appropriate. For the evaluation, notify the primary care provider of catheterization results. Perform a detailed follow-up based on the findings that debated from the expected or normal for the client. Relate findings to previous assessment data if available. Then teach the client how to care for the indwelling catheter, to drink more fluids, and provide other appropriate instructions.